Now to Poland, 21 never published photos of the Nazis brutal, brutally supporting the 1943 Warsaw Ghetto Revolt were revealed on Monday for the very first time. The pictures released by the Museum of the History of Polish Jews were taken by a Polish firefighter as he protected the city from flames engulfing the ghetto. The incredible images were recently discovered by the photographer's son in dusty boxes in a family member's attic. They are the only known images of the revolt's aftermath that were not photographed by the Germans perpetrators. The Warsaw Ghetto Revolt was the largest act of resistance of Jews against Nazi regime during the Holocaust. For more on this revelation, I'm joined by Professor Dina Porat, head of the Cantor Center for the Study of Contemporary European Jewry, joining us from Tel Aviv. Professor, thank you for your time. And and chief historian of Yad Vashem, you missed the main thing. Main important thing, and we'll not forget that. First, uh, Professor, sure. let's talk about these photos taken secretly by a Polish firefighter. Tell us what can we learn from them? Do they shed any new light on the revolt as we know it in our historic memory of this event? Yeah. Um, uh, thank you, and thank you for speaking to me. Uh, the The main value uh, of these photos is that they come from a source that you could call a, a, a neutral source, because the, the Germans confiscated the cameras, as they did to all Jewish property, right uh, in the beginning of conquering a place or entering a place. So... We do not have, almost at all, we do not have photos of this, of such a crucial period in our history. We do not have photos taken by Jews. We do have um, those that survived uh, in the ghetto of Kovno, taken by a great photographer, uh, Tzvika Dushin, and in the ghetto of Lodz, but otherwise not. Now, these photos uh, are not staged, while the other German photos taken, not of the revolt, but before, were always staged. Their point was to show how Jews were filthy and dirty and ugly, etc. So what we get is the ghetto through German eyes, and the revolt through German eyes, where they... Um, the German soldiers who subdued, uh, who crushed the revolt, are seen in these photos as uh, heroes and well-dressed and ta -ta -tam, not afraid. The ghetto, as you said, resisted for about a month. And a number of uh, Nazi soldiers, German soldiers, were killed. So the photos that we see here show real, show neutral reality. They show the Jews the way they looked. They show the destruction. They saw, they show the fire. He was a fireman. His job was to um, to try to limit, the, to contain the fire so that it does not spread onto the other parts of, uh, of Warsaw. So um, these are of great value because they come for a neutral source and they show us what really happened and how things really looked like. Quite incredible, uh, over 80 years now since the Holocaust to get new footage uh, from the real time events for the historic. I, I can tell you, I believe that there are more. From time to time, there are findings, you know, in an ethic, a father or grandfather passes away. Unfortunately, the family looks around. Unfortunately, we, we are we are out of, we are out of time. We will uh, love to continue that conversation. Okay. Uh, Professor Dina Parat, chief historian of Yad Vashem, we thank you so much.